Hi. We've seen so much change over the last 20 months. Crazy, crazy rate of change. And that is not going to slow down. The whole business landscape is evolving rapidly as we speak, and it's going to keep being increasing in volatility. So how do we as leaders in our organisation put our organisation in a position where it's ready for the deluge of change, when it doesn't know where the change is coming from, when it's going to be needed, how much of it, and we can't often foresee it. And my answer to that is that we need to be a force for change. And that's what I want to explore this week. Force for change, an acronym for focus, orientation, resilience, coaches and empathy. So let's start with focus. Every organisation has to have a sense of purpose. And you would all have seen Simon Sinek's Magic Golden Circles, where we talk about what we do, how we do it. But the most important bit is the why. Why do we do what we do? And when the whole organisation is a bit aligned behind that why, it can absorb the change coming its way. Everyone's focused in the same direction. Everyone has a sense of purpose, a North Star. Take that a step further and say for every change that we need to undertake, we often talk about what the change is and how we're gonna do it. But again, we need to start with the why. And I use the analogy to make this point. That if you said to me, Karen, tomorrow we're driving to Sydney, we're going in my car and I'll pick you up at eight. You've told me what and you've told me how, but you haven't told me why. So for every change you want to undertake in your organisation, however big, small, whatever it is, focus on the why, why are we doing it and make sure that why aligns with the organisational why. Because if it doesn't, then it doesn't make any sense to be doing that change. Start with the power of why. And you've got me then. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.